Thank you all for joining us today. We are so glad you can make it and accompany us on this exciting journey through your neighborhood, Sandalwood West. You may refer to this neighborhood as Sunny Meadow or Springdale, but not to worry. Our neighborhood's map will help you define these boundaries. Hello, I'm Patrick Brown, Mayor of your great city. The Nurturing Neighborhoods program is a direct result of your input into the 2040 vision. Understanding how our neighborhoods work for you, our residents, is what this program is all about. Take the virtual walk today, then share your thoughts in a survey or by identifying places in your neighborhood by commenting on our virtual map. Thank you for your continued participation. The strength of our city is when the, is when the citizens are engaged and this project of nurturing neighborhoods is to make sure uh, that we build a city where your voice is heard. It's your neighborhood, it's your backyard. Tell us what we need to work on, tell us what is working well, tell us what we need to fix. This is democracy in action. It's our Nurturing Neighborhoods program. Thank you for your participation. Hi everyone, I'm Regional Councilor Gurpreet Singh Dillon. I'm so glad to have you on this walk. Uh, nurturing neighborhoods is a great way for our residents to connect to resources to help make the neighborhoods better. I also want to thank uh, the Peel Region, uh, Credit Valley Conservation, Toronto Region Conservation Authority, uh, and the Peel Regional Police for participating. Have a great walk, everybody. Hi, everyone. I just want to let you know about a fantastic opportunity, the Nurturing Neighborhoods Virtual Walk. Uh, we used to have these walks, but given COVID-19, now the opportunity has moved online where we're still gonna gather your input and it's a great opportunity for you to give feedback for the city about development of our local neighborhoods. I also wanna thank Enbridge and Electra for sponsoring this program. Uh, without our business partners and business community, uh, this whole initiative uh, wouldn't be possible. So I hope you can connect, I hope you can join us and we look forward to having you engage uh, in this initiative. We begin our walk at Springdale Library the 25,000 square foot facility and one of the newer libraries built in the city. The library contains areas dedicated to quiet study, programming, and special activities. The interior features an abundance of natural light entering through a dramatic oculus. It is framed by a commercial plaza to the east, Bramley Road to the south, and a ravine to the north and west. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we saw many changes across the city. Brampton Library strategize on contactless curbside pickup to ensure residents can still enjoy a good read. They also have other services available online, such as Makerspace On Demand. Visit www.bramptonlibrary.ca for more information. With its creative design, Komagata Maro Park serves as an exterior extension of the community-oriented spaces inside the library. The green space includes contemplative gardens, reflective pools, and a play area organized around three-dimensional text spelling out Imagine. Komagatamaru Park is a tribute to those who are on the SS Komagatamaru ship and honors all immigrants and their struggles, triumphs, and contributions to the mosaic of Canada. Within the Bull and Esker Valley, we see an example of a geological feature that is rare within the GTA. An esker is a ridge of sand and gravel left by the retreat of a glacier. Rivers of meltwater form and run either on top of or under the ice pack, carrying with them the sand and gravel that had been scooped up by the ice as it advanced. After it rains, water can sit in a stormwater pond for several days before it is slowly released into the environment. The water gets warmed by the sun and atmosphere, and when it eventually flows into rivers and streams, it can harm endangered and protected aquatic species that are sensitive to increases in water temperature. In August 2018, with the help from the federal and provincial governments, the city had began testing the use of flexible, floating, highly reflective surface covers to reduce the warming of stormwater. The first installation was done at Esker Pond in the area of Moldovan Drive. Monitoring and data collection will be done for the next three to five years. Stephen Llewellyn West is an urban natural area in the northeast part of Brampton, encompassing a section of a tributary of the West Humber River. The valley bottom is comprised of marsh wetlands functioning as a natural sponge, providing flood retention and mitigation. This is one example of ecological goods and services provided by natural areas to keep our environment healthy. Overall, this area supports species at risk, offers views of a variety of special wildlife, all within steps from a residential development. 
we visit James William Houston Park, a well-positioned park at the center of the neighborhood, connected to a school and linear trail system. In 2019, city staff planted new trees in the park as part of the annual tree planting. Over the past five years, the city and its partners have planted an average of 43,000 trees, and in 2020, we've set a goal of planting 50,000 trees. By 2040, Brampton aims to plant 1 million trees and we need your help. We are a green city and we are committed to protecting our trees and green spaces, and we are currently working to deliver on this initiative. Brampton Civic is a full service community hospital with many specialized services, including a critical care response team, cardiac catheterization suite, a regional kidney wellness center, a center for complex diabetes care, and an expansive mental health and addictions program. Opened in 2007, the hospital has one of the largest labor and delivery programs in the province and one of the busiest emergency departments in Canada. In 2019, the city of Brampton and its residents demanded a fair deal for Brampton. Support for this critical issue prompted residents to let their local MPP know that they expect them to be part of the solution by pushing for a third healthcare centre in Brampton. This is something Brampton needs the province to do to deliver unnecessary healthcare services and infrastructure for our city. Located within the Springdale Village Centre Plaza is Tropical Escape. This hidden food gem combines Chinese Guyanese cuisine with Caribbean flair to produce a variety of spicy and exotic dishes. Here, you can enjoy some of their lo mein, chow mein, or fried rice dishes, or explore some of their fusion items like jerk chicken wontons. At night, the restaurant offers live music and entertainment. Thank you for joining us on the Sandalwood West walking tour with the Nurturing Neighborhoods program. Remember to like the video and submit any comments and questions by visiting www.brampton.ca slash neighborhoods. Here you will be able to access your neighborhood survey and participate in the interactive mapping tool.